to Waki Hydro Power Plant, which is generating um, 4.8, around 5 megawatts. This plant was commissioned in 2018, but we have not yet concluded because we've not constructed a dedicated line to evacuate power into uh, Hoima substation, which is about 62 kilometers. That is uh, a problem, and uh, I think we have to solve it so that we don't waste this uh, hydropower which is being generated here. The second thing is that, uh, you know, some of these small dams which are constructed on our small rivers suffer hydrology when it is the drought, the water is little. So measurement of water is very critical. Now, my technical people are not in agreement with the developer uh, on the point where they should take the measurement of the water in the river so that we avoid deemed energy as the ministry or they also avoid paying for nothing. So when I get back, I will be able to sit with my team, the technical team, and we agree and then we sort that one out. Otherwise, uh, the plant is up and running. There are two units here, generating 2.4 each, and uh, it is the, that dedicated line which is really missing, plus the agreement on the point of measurement of the water in the river. Well, uh, I've come today. When I go back, we have the meeting, and I think a decision has to be taken quickly because nobody is abroad, every concerned person is in the country. So they have to sit and solve the problem so that the developer doesn't suffer or the ministry does not suffer. We need a win-win. What does it mean for the country, this power? It No, one by one, you know, we keep on uh, adding on because we don't have a very huge hydropower plant that can generate uh, 2,000 megawatts, for example. We just add on, here we have 4.8, at Nyagak 3 we have 6.6 uh, megawatts, Nyagak 1 we have 3.5. When you add in total, then you talk about the capacity of the country. But we have to do more generation, both small and big, like Ayago, which is going to uh, generates eight, 840 megawatts. But we need bigger, maybe from not, not from hydro, maybe from nuclear, where we have potential of 24,000 megawatts. So it means a lot. These small dams mean a lot because uh, a factory can be run using uh, this power here, 4.8 megawatts is not small. It can run a very big factory. So how much do we need? Well, about three, three point eight million dollars to to complete that that line to evacuate power from here. We are at fifty-seven percent access to electricity, but in the fifty-seven percent, only nineteen percent is connected to the national grid. 38% is on, is on uh, mini grids uh, from uh, solar power. We've created some mini grids. But we are working around the clock. We are investing more in generation such that we have enough power and that by 2030, at least we will have reached 80%. And then our plan is that by 2050, hopefully we shall be having 52,000 megawatts as in capacity, and therefore we shall reach 100% access to power in Uganda. But that requires heavy investment in generation, transmission, and distribution. Uh, we are failing to evacuate. That's the biggest challenge this power plant has. The power plant is running very well and we have enough water to produce the power. And uh, the plant are in good condition. 
but the grid, the grid is not available because of the poor grid network. We are not able to produce what is installed and what it has capacity for. So because of that, we are not able to pay the loans to the bank because we lent money from the banks to build this factory. So when this is completed, there is a lot of demand from the banks that we have to pay back the loans within certain period. So because we are not able to produce, because they are not able to evacuate the power, which is the responsibility of the government, but they are still sorting out the grid issues. So that's why we are getting a lot of default notices that we are not able to pay the loans. And the, even the, there is also what we call, we have some claims for the deemed energy, for the power which is not being evacuated, but we are able to produce what we call deemed energy. So those billings were pending for the last three and a half years and we are still sorting out with the government. Hopefully they will sort out soon and they'll pay us so that we are able to the, pay to the banks. So that's the biggest challenge as a developer we have. And this is our third, this is the second power plant we, we are generating at Busiruka. This is, is 4.8 at Waki. We are also going to start soon at Nagak, 6.6 .6 megawatt. How much is it at Mali? The what? How much is the money at Mali? Uh, we borrowed about $13 million for this plant. And now currently there is a due amount of $3 million we are supposed to pay to the banks. And they have issued default notice because we are not able to pay the loans. So what is the pay? Well, we are trying to pursue the government so that they pay us our claims, our bills, which are pending for the last three and a half years. So that's what the minister has promised us uh, that she will resolve when she go back to the, go back, goes back to the office next week. She will sit with the relevant authorities and try to resolve the issues. And uh, we are really thankful for the minister for finding time and to visit this factory and find out the challenges which we are facing in the, at this place. Yeah. Mahesh, Mahesh Reddy. I am the director for the for the developer Hydromax Limited. Yeah, thank you.